In just his second week of middle school, Jake was ecstatic to have been invited to a seventh grader's overnight. Jake is just in sixth grade, but he was lucky enough to have befriended two of the older kids. Jake was determined to prove he could keep up with them. But tonight, they had snickered when Jake said he wasn't allowed to play the video game they chose. They had laughed when Jake couldn't handle spicy pizza toppings. And now, they want to watch a scary movie. A movie that looks scarier than Jake could handle. Jake isn't going to let the 7th graders laugh this time. Jake rolls out his sleeping bag to watch the movie. I love you! Out of the sleeping bag falls Jake's raggedy old teddy bear. That's odd. He could have sworn he didn't pack it. One of the 7th graders gasps. Isn't middle school way too old to sleep with your teddy bear? The seventh graders burst into laughter. They stopped sleeping with their teddy bears years ago. Maybe sixth graders are babies after all. Jake stares in horror at the teddy bear. When he was little, Jake was scared to go camping, terrified of bears being outside of the tent. So his parents gave him a teddy bear to make Jake feel safe anytime he started worrying about bears outside. As the full moon glowed above the tent, Jake promised his teddy bear that if it helps him feel brave, as brave as a bear, Jake would bring it everywhere forever. And the teddy bear did keep Jake safe that night. But that was a long time ago, and Jake doesn't need this toy now, especially not in front of these seventh graders. Seething with anger, Jake kicks the teddy bear across the room. I love you. One of the seventh graders kicks the bear back at Jake. He asks Jake if he needs it while they watch the scary movie. This just makes them laugh even harder. Embarrassed, Jake stuffs the teddy bear in his duffel bag and zips it tightly. The three friends are watching the scary movie when all of a sudden, Jake feels someone touch his shoulder. He screams. The seventh graders look at Jake, but then crack up in laughter. The someone touching his shoulder is the teddy bear. Jake accuses the other two of pranking him but they both swear they didn't take the teddy bear out of his bag. Maybe Jake took it out himself because he was scared. Frustrated, Jake tosses the teddy bear in the trash can and shuts the lid. Then he climbs into his sleeping bag and turns away from his friends. The seventh graders laugh at Jake for going to sleep early. What a little baby sixth grader. I love you, tease the seventh graders. Jake ignores their laughter and drifts off to sleep. In the middle of the night, Jake feels something touch his arm. He glances over at the seventh graders, but they're asleep. He turns to find the teddy bear in his sleeping bag. Jake is positive the seventh graders planted it there again to prank him. Half asleep but madder than ever, Jake grabs the bear and tiptoes outside. Under the light of the full moon, Jake digs a deep hole in the yard. He stuffs the teddy bear in the hole, covers it with fresh dirt, and goes back inside. That stupid toy won't be around to embarrass him in front of his new friends anymore. Just as Jake is falling back asleep, he feels a tap on his foot. Jake can't believe it. He must be dreaming. Why won't this toy leave him alone? But it's not the teddy bear. It's a claw. And then he hears it. Growl! Jake is face to face with a grizzly bear. Jake screams, waking the seventh graders, and the real bear roars at them with all its might. I love you! The three boys turn to see the teddy bear, covered in dirt, eyes glowing. The grizzly bear whimpers in fear, crashes back out of the home, and disappears into the night. The boys stop teasing Jake after that night. None of them know for sure what happened, if any of it was even real. But just to be safe... Jake sleeps with his teddy bear every night, and even the seventh graders sleep with theirs, especially when there's a full moon. Mm -hmm.